So, today I'm going to talk to you about living on an island. And well, uh, first up, just in case you don't know, um, at one point I actually did live on a little island like uh, two and a half miles by like half a mile wide or so called Kwajalein and the Marshall Islands. Um, and yeah, I'm going to talk to you about what it was like living there. To be honest, it actually was kind of fun. You got to go to uh, beaches anytime you wanted, since there was beaches on like both sides of the island and stuff. And um, along with the um, interesting tide poles, which if you don't know what this is, um, yeah, Google. It's kind of complicated to explain, but um, both of them are actually weirdly enough man-made uh, that they dug out coral somehow. It's actually pretty fascinating, but. Anyways, though, yeah, it was actually pretty darn hot as well. I really um, did get that way yet. Yeah, like, usually um, 70s to, like, 90s or so was, like, regular temperature, but it felt, like, way harder because of the humidity and stuff. But besides that, it was actually um, uh, pretty decent, um, actually. And on the fact, thankfully, they still have the Marcy's Cultural Center there. I mean, okay, just saying, I left there like 12 years ago, okay, so I, I sometimes have to um, get bits and pieces from the internet or other people about what's like there now. I mean, they got even faster internet now, which is pretty cool. Um, <laughs> that, and apparently um, people can use uh, cell phones there now, so that's fun stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, along the fact, at least uh, when I was there, and they kind of transitioned while I was there, at least the second time, because I lived there two times. The, the first time I don't remember, because I was like um, <clears throat> two when we left, but yeah. Uh, the second time, a uh, second tour on Quaj, um, yeah, really, really, really fun stuff, along with um, getting a snorkel, um, and just... Fun stuff like that. Definitely some pretty tropical fish. Tropical fish are actually beautiful as f. But you know, there's like certain fish, like I think it was called the turkey or lionfish, um, that you want to avoid because they're poisonous. But I believe it's either that one different when it does look like a rock. So be careful there. Just playing um, with a rock. Anyways, um, <laughs> yeah, pretty fun times there. Uh, definitely got to know some pretty awesome people, um, and just, yeah, I had overall a uh, pretty fun time there, but, you know, just saying there's also the heat, humidity, and the, um, insects and stuff, but, you know, besides that, it actually is a really awesome, uh, time there and all, um, as long as you know somebody that's already there, that you can even travel there, so, Madro is fine, usually, but, well, it's kind of picky because it is partially military base as well, so there's there's that thing. A um, few, like, really bad times I, I had there was when I got stung by a jellyfish. I think it was, like, on this arm, yeah. Or it kind of looked like it, like, whacked me because it left, like, an imprint on my arm for, like, a while. Um, went away eventually, but I was there for, like, a good week or three. So it was there for a long while. But, um... Yeah, then again, I learned my lesson never to go out and, like, um, into the, wa into, uh, the water, um, and then have it, like, windy and stuff, because it was pretty, um, crazy with me having hypothermia as well, so <sighs> there was that, along with being dragged to hospital, one of those, um, guest carriage thingies that you, like, hook up to the bike and stuff, so, <sighs> crazy as... Some like yeah, and then we covered up in the towels so I could, you know, get some body heat going. And, yeah, it was it was a mess, but yeah, besides that though, um, living on Quad was actually um, pretty cool. Everything was within a relatively short distance along the movie theater called the Richardson, and that's one of them. That's the outdoor one, and then like the indoor one um, was called the Aquiac Theater. Um, and, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool, even though, um, just that's why you won't get, like, the latest, latest movies usually, um, at those two places, they usually show, like, reruns and stuff that they probably got from Tapescape or something, and, 
In fact, like sometimes they would even show like Casablanca or like some old Disney movies from like the eighties or nineties, something. So yeah, don't expect the latest movies there. Usually, just saying latest ones you go to Maduro uh, to actually go to the cinema, which I never actually saw. Uh, the cinema, I don't think, on Maduro, but I know there's a cinema, um, so it's the latest, uh, films and movies there. Um, but yeah, it was actually pretty interesting living there and walking along the rocks and stuff and the beaches, just pretty fun times, a bunch of photos from there, but, um, I mean, I don't have money, I would have to, like, search for them somewhere in this house, but anyways, um, just fun times, uh, pretty chill people, um, usually so. Yeah, cool, cool, along with everybody running on bikes, that was pretty awesome, you know, bike stuff. So, uh, people usually rent vehicles there, you can't really have your own car vehicle. Um, there, unless you're at Madro, then you can have it, like, there. So, for some reason, there's, like, some ex exemption somehow on, uh, Madro, it's like, hey, just have your car on quad, just, um, yeah, definitely, no. Um, but you can, like, re rent vehicles there and stuff, so, yeah. But, um, yeah, just to share some interesting memory and all, so it's Flashback Friday, so, um, uh, yeah, see you all in the next video.